Scott Boda here with the all new looking Steeda Silver Bullet. Well, we've taken some time off after being the world's first Gen 3 into the 10s on motor, into the 9s on motor. Well, we wanted to switch things up. Now, there's some people out there that started mixing some fuels, going a little quicker, bottom 9s, 19s. Congrats. So, what were we gonna do? Ah, maybe let's mix the fuel. Let's try, I'm not gonna lie. So, mix some fuel threw it on the dyno, had an injector hang wide open on the passenger side. What'd that do? It leaned out the other three cylinders, and fortunately, those diamond pistons didn't look nearly as good when we put them in as when we pulled that cylinder head off. So, what do we do? Once again, we're finding ourselves month, month and a half out from Mod Nationals 2021 here at South Georgia Motorsports Park. So, we had to get scrambling. So we put the old stock short block in with our ported heads and cams mix up some fuel, go out there and try and run some outlaw all motor. But at the end of the day, we talked to you guys, the customers at Mustang Week, uh, through various dozens of PMs. What are you gonna do? We love the fact it's a street car, it's relatable. In-house meetings with marketing, Dario, Glenn, Scott, build a car. We wanna make it relatable. That's why it's still got AC. It's still got full interior. It's still got the stereo in the car, right? because it's a race car. No, it's a street car. So we said, what's the next level? Thankfully, bam, Edelbrock reached out. They sponsored the article that was written in race pages back in 2018 when we were the first ones to go tens on motor. And they reached out to Chris, the director of marketing and said, hey, what are you guys doing with the car? You want to take it to the next level? Well, we thought we had a really good footing with helping move this NA Gen 3 Coyote movement and really try to help show everybody what these motors were capable of. You add good parts to the car, some high flown exhaust, some cold air intakes, tunes from good companies out there like Lund, Circle D torque converters, some lightweight bare brakes, you name it. You got yourself a 10 second daily driver, throwing some Anderson composite components, some billet specialty wheels, you got a legitimate nine second car on pump E85, because that's all we ever ran the car, VPC85, we don't get E85 around here. So what happened? Edelbrock reached out with their stage two supercharger kit, right? This is something that you can bolt on to your daily driver, and let me tell you what, those stock rods and pistons, they're loving life to the tune of 880 horsepower to the rear tires. John Lund lighting those cylinders with that Lund tune. And you know what? We're running it on that VPC85. But hey, we're exactly one week away from Mod Nationals. We were out here last week at a test session on Saturday. Beautiful South Georgia Motorsports Park. They've been swamped with big race after big race. Had a test and tune for us. 907 off the trailer. Leaned on the foot brake a little bit more. 882 and then an 875 on only its third pass. We're talking about a car that everybody thinks is lightweight and gutted. We added over 300 pounds to this car by putting in a Watson roll bar. We got ourselves, like I said, the Edelbrock blower. We got a pretty trick cooling system in the back, courtesy of Brett Barber out there at Airflow Solutions. Speaking of a couple other modifications, our friends out at Circle D knew we were gonna be making more power with this supercharger got us one of their power adder torque converters. I'll tell you what, the guys, Chris and his gang out there, Ronnie and Engineering, they're awesome from Circle D. Also, Ben and Jess from Tint House, Tint and Customs down there in South Florida came all the way up to wrap this car in two days for us. Why? It's got new power, we want a slightly different look to the car. So they came up, wrapped the whole front of the car, looks freaking fantastic. If you're in the South Florida area, Look for them for all your tinting and wrapping needs. So you know what? We're showing you what you could do with over a 3,600 pound street car with a stock motor that Ford put together for us. This wonderful Gen 3 Coyote is kick butt. So stay tuned. We're gonna show you all the behind the scenes builds, what happened, how we threw this car together. Literally, I was out of town for one day. I get a phone call. Hey, Scott, what do you think about putting a blower on the car? Well, everybody likes to go faster, right? So, hey, stay tuned. Steeda Silver Bullet, new look. Thanks to Edelbrock, all of our great sponsors. And uh, we're going to see you guys at Mod Nationals. And remember, guys, Steeda, where speed matters.